The guy you're looking at is the biggest owner of the moon. He owns 200 million acres of the moon. And now he wants to own the remaining planets too. And the crazy thing is, he spent a total of zero dollars to buy all of this land. Who is this guy? How did he get to own a piece of the moon? And what does Elon Musk think about this? In the United States of America, I found Chris. Hi, I'm Chris Lamar, and I'm on the east coast of the United States, and I am the president of the Lunar Embassy. It may sound like a joke, but he's not joking, because Chris and his dad have been selling properties on the moon for over 41 years. I'm an extraterrestrial property owner, so yes, I'm the man you turn to to buy property on the moon. Many years ago, Chris's dad wanted to own real estate, but real estate on planet Earth was way too expensive. That's why one night when he looked up at the sky, he saw much more than just the moon. He saw a real estate opportunity. You remember a political science course from college that he had taken where they studied the 1967 Outer Space Treaty, a UN resolution that was signed by almost every country in the world stating that no governmental entity or sovereign entity has any authority, ownership rights, or jurisdiction over any of the celestial bodies within our solar system. But it made no mention of individuals. So he wrote a letter to the United Nations declaring that the moon was his. And since nobody ever got back to him, well, he assumed he got approval and he started selling it. We have sold hundreds of millions of acres thus far. Since 1980, we've been doing this 41 years and uh, we have landowners from around the world. And that's how Chris and his dad became real estate agents. They claimed a large portion of the moon. Then they divided that portion to five million small properties and sold them to millions of people, just like you and me. We get clients from around the world, all walks of life. We have celebrities, we have past presidents who are landowners, we have corporations, we have people who are repeat buyers uh, over the years, they continually come and buy. For governments and university professors, none of this is legit because he is not a government. So Chris's dad decided to create his own government just to sell stuff on the moon. So how much does the moon cost? Well, they made it as affordable as possible. It will cost you between $25 to $500. We have a grid system, a proprietary grid system that is uh, very methodical. You get exact coordinates of where your land is and we have a registration database that keeps track of everybody's uh, position in that. And every property that they sell comes with a prime view of the earth. And it gets even crazier. The moon was not enough for Chris and his dad. That's why they started to sell the solar system. Currently we sell property on Mercury, Mars, Venus, the moon of Earth, and Io, one of Jupiter's moons. Soon we'll be expanding that. In the future, there is only one of two scenarios. If the United Nations does not approve, all of this is just a gimmick. But if the United Nations does approve, then Chris and you will become the richest landowners of the moon. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Nas Daily. Nas means people in Arabic, humans. And we are on a mission to show you the stories of humans from all around the world. I'm actually very excited about the videos we're working on. So please follow us on Facebook and Instagram so that you don't miss a video. We think everybody in the world should watch them. Thank you and see you soon.